Hello, this is a quick tutorial that I want to demonstrate to you how in only 10 minutes you can set up your game with uh, the leaderboard, Oxia leaderboard. So, um, of course, we have here in Stencil, uh, you will have your game and you you will have just set up the for let's say for iOS uh, mobiles uh, the the bundle identifier app ID. Uh, you can take it from Xcode from uh, the Apple developer site, and of course the certificates for iOS. Uh, the same goes for Android. This is the normal procedure as Stencil says for making a, a game and testing the game. That's all. Just remember, the most important is the bundle identifiers. Uh, so, let's go, uh, first of all, once you have downloaded the extension, um, you have to, um, first of all, install the Oxia leaderboard inside engine extensions here. You open uh, Oxia Leaderboard 2 and you just replace this file mdll with the, the one I send you uh, with uh, the email. You just replace this uh, folder, nothing else. Uh, we close uh, and let's go now to the Facebook for Developers page. Uh, you log in like a uh, Facebook user. You must have a Facebook for um, account for developers. And the only thing you have to do is just create an app. You just go here on this uh, menu. I have created just some apps. Uh, we will try. We will do some testing with test app four, but it's very simple. Just only two uh, steps. Uh, you just say add a new app, you select first of all the uh, iOS, you just write uh, the name of the app, let's say that we have test 6, create new Facebook app ID. You just uh, put the email, nothing else, and just wait, uh, and also the bundle identifier. Uh, uh, it's only two steps. I won't do it now. After you've done it, you will go on this page, will appear this page here. Uh, I just created the test app for, uh, the name test app for, and this is the screen. Now, uh, we don't do nothing here, we just create a test app from this app. You just go here and we say create test app. Once you've done it, the, the page will go on your test app for test one. This is where you have to work uh, and, and create the test app. Um, so, here remains as it is, we go to settings and the only thing we have to uh, check, we have to put a namespace, uh, the app ID, the app secret and the display name was created uh, from, um, from Facebook. We need to put by ourselves a, a namespace of our testing application. I just create Oxia leaderboard. We go in the iOS, we just write down the bundle identifier, which is this one mobile bundle identifier. This is for, for um, iOS. So it's very simple. With must be the same. 
and like URL scheme suffix, which is very important, we have to write this app ID with in front of them FB, FB and this name, nothing else. We just leave all the pages, uh, all the other pages like this. Of course, I just created an Android fair uh, afterwards, but it doesn't matter. We will see it uh, after. The only thing we have to check here is advanced. You must go advanced and set native or desktop app. You have to put yes here. Nothing else. You just leave all the pages like this. Now, the other thing that for testing uh, the app is to go in open graph. This is the most important. Open graph and you go to object types. You have to create an object for uh, the bonus, uh, for sharing lives, let's say, um, sending lives uh, or helps. You just say add object type, you just write the name of the object. I won't do it now because I've done it. And will appear this thing here, exactly like this. I just wrote bonus. Then, uh, you don't have to do nothing here. Of course, if you open the page, you will see uh, some uh, fields. We don't need to add na uh, uh, any field here. So we just go back. Now, we go and create an action type. We create an action type like this. We write here uh, the name of the action and will appear this one, leaderboard, without this one. You won't have the bonus at the beginning. Now, you open the leaderboard now, we just created, and you have to put, this is the most important, you have to say add property and, as I did here, and write this thing. This is the most important. Level, underline, score. Level, score, like this. And should be string, nothing else. You just go here and you check all these things here. Tags, user messages, user generate photos, place, explicit insert. This is important. Nothing else here. You don't have to do nothing. You just save the settings. And now we go and create also a story. The story is for putting together the leaderboard and the object bonus. So we create a add custom story. We just, and you just select the action type like this and the bonus, the object we have already selected and that's why it's not black. And you say create. Once you've done it, you just go back and now we have to take only some codes. This is uh, the only thing we have to take for our game to work. We go here, action types, and we press get code. We go on iOS, which is better. Here, select iOS, code for action. And we have to copy paste the auxia leaderboard. This one, we say copy. And let's go back and we uh, to our stencil game and we open leaderboard. Uh, we go to behaviors because leaderboard is a behavior. I made it like this because you can put it in your game, in your existing game, like a behavior. Uh, and we say edit behavior. As you can see here, we have only these fields that we have to 
uh, insert some values and the game will work the leaderboard so we copy this one command copy this is the action type as you can see action type and we put the action type here paste now we have to take uh, the URL of um, uh, our object which is connected with which is this one it's bonus and the URL so we take let's say for key bonus copy bonus comment copy and we put um, on this field paste the name bonus which is for key this one then we copy the name of the URL the address and it will put this set uh, open graph object URL and we, we put it here a paste that's it nothing else um, the title act is not important it was for making open uh, graph uh, actions but not for the score uh, um, so even if we don't put nothing here uh, it won't happen anything so uh, so don't worry about it now um, with only those three parameters we have set up uh, our leaderboard for the level score uh, option uh, we say close here now we only have to take this is the most uh, other important thing uh, the code for the bonus object to send once we have created here our bonus um, we don't do nothing here we go here on the object browser this part here down the screen object browser we open this one just remember the app is test app for test one this is our, our the name of the um, uh, of our test application and the object name is bonus we go object browser and we select here application test app for test one this was our test application and we select the object here type bonus uh, once you've of course now we have only one object is bonus one we have selected will appear this screen here this is the ID of the object we have to copy this one just simple like that and we put it here the whole thing is almost set up one other thing you have to do for uh, to work uh, for make it work you have only to create um, a Facebook page. A Facebook page is you can create uh, whatever Facebook page you want of your game by using your face your um, Facebook profile, creating a Facebook uh, page. Uh, inside Facebook page, uh, you have to go on the Facebook preference, and you will find the Facebook. ED of the page. It is a number like this. You have to copy this one uh, inside this value, uh, this property. Set ED Facebook page for challenge. This is for challenge. Just copy the code of any Facebook page you have here. Uh, so we have finished here. We just close. <coughs> The only thing we have to do now is go to the dashboard and open start game just to write we go events just to write here our Facebook ID, <coughs> app ID, which is 
we go back on our page test application for test one we have to write only this number here a copy <coughs> yes or on the settings here this one we have to put it here on Android and also here on iOS it is the same just write also the code I send you with the email okay and and it's done we close it <coughs> now before testing the game we have to um, open uh, you have to just uh, modify um, the um, the templates the templates I, uh, I send you which is the uh, Android manifest and the prods info p list for iOS it, it is very simple you just open with the text editor this one let's begin with iOS um, mostly I use espresso and you have to leave all the thing as it is you have to locate the key which is named CF bundle URL schemes and under here after array there is the string this will be just a blank a underline you have to put the APD of your Facebook application which is this one but you have to write in front of it the FB it is exactly this one here test up for test one settings this one you have to write this thing here and down there is also another Facebook APD just the number not the FB uh, down there is also the Facebook display name you have to write test app for test one which is exactly the display name here display name test app for you just copy only this volume values you close then we open the Android manifest <coughs> espresso and as you can see here where starts the Facebook uh, uh, part there is the Android value here it, this will be just blank just underlined in your file you just copy the Facebook ID here nothing else you just close <coughs> now you have to put th those files on this lock on this location you have to open stencil full here <laughs> let's open it like this and you have to go plaf uh, hx library line one more time line <laughs> and we, you have to consider two places the one is called legacy and the one is called templates you just open legacy <coughs> you go to templates and you go to iPhone you go to project and you just copy this one the project replace it here now you go back again <coughs> and you go to Android you go to template inside and you replace your Android manifest with the one the, that exists <coughs> once we finished with the legacy part which was here this one we go, uh, we go also and we do the same thing with the folder templates it is the same 
we just go to iPhone project here we replace the peer list with done with the, the text editor with this one we go back Android of course template and we replace the Android manifest with the one that has our Facebook uh, ID number that's all guys now once we've done all these things with open graph just remember uh, once we've um, we've taken all the codes of our uh, game and copy all these things here on our Oxia leaderboard we can test the game it is simple like that ah, remember of course just to create roles here those are the test users uh, roles you don't do role here you go to test users and just create a test user um, and uh, here you have um, create a test user and manage the friends of the test user let's say that all these test users are friends it's with each other once you've done also this thing you can also put some uh, photos of uh, in the um, profile let's go here let's say login as this test user as you can see I have this test user Bill and uh, you have just put um, a, a photo profile here once we've done it we can go uh, let's check that it's all okay events Facebook APD our code and then on the Oxia leaderboard this thing has to be filled up and now we do a test game that's all